I cringe when I see something for sale that's so overpriced when I can easily do it myself. That's how I feel about simple syrup. Simple syrup is mostly used for making cocktails, but it can also be used to sweeten cold beverages like iced tea. You know how it's hard to get that sugar to dissolve in iced tea? You find most of the sugar at the bottom of the glass. Instead, use simple syrup. It's already in a liquid form, so it's easier to dissolve. Simple syrup is really simple to make. It's only two ingredients and it takes a little bit of time. Let me show you how easy it is. All you have to remember is the one to one ratio. If you have one cup of sugar, you need one cup of water. If you have a half a cup of sugar, you need a half a cup of water and so on. Just remember equal amounts. Combine your sugar and water in a small pot and heat until all the sugar has dissolved. It's not necessary to boil the solution. If it starts boiling, once it cools, crystals will form, and that's not what you're looking for. So just heat until the sugar dissolves. Once dissolved, turn off the heat and allow to cool. Once it's cooled, it's ready to use. You can keep the syrup in the refrigerator for up to a week. If you want to flavor your simple syrup, all you have to do is add in mint or ginger or jalapeno or whatever flavor you want with it. Just put in your flavor while the solution is cooling and just let the flavor steep. A refreshing cocktail to try that uses simple syrup is a classic mojito. To make this drink, muddle the juice of half a lime and three mint leaves in a shaker. Add in two ounces of white rum, one and a half tablespoons of simple syrup, and ice. Shake for about 30 seconds or until cold. Fill a tall glass with ice and garnish with a couple of mint leaves and slices of lime. Strain the cocktail into a glass and enjoy. Now that you know how easy it is to make your own simple syrup, you can save money on your next party so your party doesn't bite your wallet. For more tips and recipes and entertaining ideas, check out my website, biteswithapplewhite.com. And don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss an episode.